Well, I can remember one time when I got side aches so bad that I couldn't walk and had to be carried home. My father got our neighbor and relation, Carlos Lyman, to come over and administer to me. And it was just still a matter of a few minutes, 15, 20 minutes, until everything was okay. And I, I felt like that was a natural prayer. Okay, how old were you? I was about five. Was it your idea to have a blessing? Or? No, I guess it's the folks. You're not sure, huh? Mm -hmm. What were you doing then? What were you doing? Yeah, do you remember what you were doing? We'd been up to Grandpa Christian's home and was, was uh, going back home, down through the square there, walking, kind of running. It was dark, getting dark. So we was in a hurry to get home. I guess that's what happened on us. Running to soon after we'd eaten or something. Was that Uncle Edward's father, or who's that? That's Uncle Edward's father. That's my mother's father. Your mother's father, sure. Mm -hmm. And the uncle was Uncle Edward or Uncle Albert, one of them. It's kind of funny I'd say Uncle Edward's, because I, I would think of a game I caught Christian, maybe if I'd known her, but I never did because of course, no, so. I've got to get my genealogy thinking of him. Well, uh, some of the most important things that happened, I, uh, it's been carried, carried through, and it's very important. Then and now is the times that uh, my father took us kids up to the tithing cell to visit with the bishop. Mother was sick quite a bit of the time, and so she couldn't uh, couldn't go. But he'd take the two or three of us or four of us, whatever we were, and uh, go up and visit with the bishop a few minutes and pay him our little tithing. I just got into the habit of doing that, and that's a habit that stayed right with me. And I really appreciate it. Were you paying uh, money all the time then? I suppose you were. Yeah. On what? I'd, I'd have a little garden there, you know, a few rolls or something, or a sheep, and had a fleece that sell or something on that order. Your, your, your dad, my grandpa, was pretty uh, insistent or anxious that tithing be paid, huh? He, he believed in it too, you bet. And the thing that I appreciated, it took enough time to go up there with us each year of tithing so. mm -hmm. This is you're talking about Manny Oak City, huh? This is Oak City. Do you remember who the bishop was mainly, or was it several bishops you're thinking about or none? No bishop? J.A. E. Anderson. Okay. All right. <clears throat> let's see. Let's go to... Uh, um, as a little boy then still, what stands out is maybe is a persistent kind of goal, or maybe the most persistent kind of goal that you had uh, relating to when you became an adult. Do you remember anything that you thought about as a young boy that you thought you might want to do that was the most outstanding kind of a goal that you might have had to as you became older? Well, I was always interested in, in livestock and in, uh, farming, and that was the thing that was uppermost in my mind, and in the getting the education I got, and as soon as we started anticipating getting married, even before, when I graduated from high school, we started to looking for a farm. So that was one of the things I had in mind, and of course I always figured on going to church, that was quite important. Do you feel like... Uh as an adult, you you know, you've done pretty well <clears throat> as far as getting your farm all paid for and everything, raising family. Do you feel uh, that that was uh, a worthy goal then, as uh, one of your major goals to to be a good farmer then and obtain land and pay for it? I don't know if anything could have been better. It's an ideal place to raise a family because there's two or three reasons. There's always something for each one to do and you can pretty well line it out so that each one knows what the responsibility is. And maybe having to milk cows, maybe that was an incentive for some of you to get an education. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, me. Okay, <clears throat> can you uh, recall anything specific about when you gained or when you thought you might have gained a, a testimony of the gospel and uh, what you think might have been the most influential factor in that? I, I believe that a very important time in my life was when I, I think I was 11 years old, when my mother died, and uh, I did some pretty serious thinking about that time. 
because I, I got pretty well acquainted with her. She was red past her for a, a year or so just before she died. And uh, of course I hadn't thought anything about that there was a possibility she died or anything like that. And when she did, I just didn't hardly figure that it was possible that something like that, that, the, that our Father in Heaven allow something like that to happen. And so I had to do a little thinking and a little rearranging. And that was probably one of the first major challenges that, that came to me is to uh, get myself adjusted to that, uh, that that actually did happen and that was part of the plan and that it wasn't anything that was bad or anything like that. It was just part of the program. And, and uh, I kind of got the idea there that there were certain things that you just had to to outlive or to, you know, to just overcome a feeling that you might have right to start out with. That could have been negative, of course, but you really think that yeah, uh, in the long run that it was positive in your testimony. Yeah. Well, that, that's the thing that I think that made it uh, important in my life is the fact that I didn't, uh, I didn't maintain that feeling very long. It was a few days or maybe a few weeks or something like that, but then I, I was blessed enough to get the idea that but that wasn't, uh, it wasn't a uh, fall in heaven that didn't care. It was just part of the program. And for that, I'm real thankful. You can always find me where music always fills the air. That's where you see somebody and me walking down the shady little lane. Fields are filled with sugar cane, it may not be roses, yet it's bright and cozy, I mean it. What a wonderful feeling, more than I can explain, when I'm walking with my sugar, down among the sugar cane, little stars are winking, winking down at us from above. We know what they're thinking While we're making love, they're jealous Love you, there's all kissing More than I can explain When I'm walking with my sweetheart Down among the sugar cane Sweetest sugar Precious baby Down among the sugar cane Oh, the bulldog on the bank and the bullfrog in the pool. Oh, the bulldog on the bank and the bullfrog in the pool. Oh, the bulldog on the bank and the bullfrog in the pool. They roll the ground and dip with bones and send him off to school. Singing tie, yah, 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 y